this is Junk Dump, and today we're going to do some intake valve seat cutting. I'm going to be doing this cutting on an Oldsmobile small block engine, but this pretty much is the same for other engines as well. This will show you the three angle valve seat that I'll be cutting today. It includes a top cut on the far right, a throat cut on the left there, and a seat cut in the middle. Now on the bottom, you can see at the stock configuration, there's only a seat cut. The three angled valve seat will benefit from better flow characteristics. I'll start by showing another method that uses a drill, but it's a bit more expensive. Now I used to do this for cutting valve seats, but today we're going to try the new way. This drill is referred to as the driver. This is the seat stone holder, and it's driven by the drill or driver. The individual grinding stones will attach to the seat stone holder as shown. These are the pilots and they insert into the guides. The grinding assembly will ride along the pilot. The drill will rotate that assembly on the pilot and grind your valve seats. The technique I'll demonstrate today uses the Newey cutters. This is the pilot that the Newey cutters use. And this is installing the pilot and we want to make sure that that collar never rests against the guide. This is what the new way cutters look like. These heads come in different shapes and sizes. You have to get the proper diameter cutter and this is what it looks like when it's installed on the pilot. The first cut that you should make is the 60 degree throat cut. New way cutters are hand driven. Um, you can drive them with a motor, but I'm going to be doing the hand cutting method. And today I'll be removing more material than I regularly would, as this is going to be for new angles and larger valves. When you cut, you should use both hands and make sure you're using even pressure. The second cut you want to make is the top cut, and this is typically 15 or 30 degrees depending on if you're working on the intake or the exhaust seat. The last cut to make is the seat cut, and this is typically 45 or 31 degrees on an Oldsmobile small block seat. You can use cutting fluid when you're making these cuts, but do not use oil-based cutting fluids. Oldsmobile small block heads have a seat width specification of 50 to 90 thousandths. The seat width here measures about 60 thousandths. I clean the guides before installing the pilots, and for that I use a brass brush from a gun cleaning kit. And here again is that beginning throat cut.
The next cut is the top cut. And lastly, the seat cut. And now the seats are perfectly finished so that you don't need to valve lap and you have a nice soft surface for the new seat to break in on the valve. Here's that picture again of the three angle valve seat. You can see again, that's our top cut, our throat cut at the bottom, and the seat cut in the middle. And there's more head work to come, but for today, I appreciate you stopping by and watching my video on intake valve seat cutting for an Oldsmobile small block engine.